Hey all, Gavin back from Thrive WP. Um, so I just wanted to look at some of the more advanced features of the header builder. Uh, so in our previous video we kind of built out a basic header um, with our logo and menu and what have you. Uh, since then we've kind of added a few more bits so we've got a nice animation on scroll so as we scroll just a little bit the background changes to white and we scroll a bit more the menu then disappears and then we can go right down as far as we like as soon as we start to scroll up our menu shows back up again with the white background and then when we get back to the top it goes back to transparent so this is all built in no plugins all built into breakdance builder it's absolutely awesome um, so I'm going to show you how to do that now I am just going to change the background of our page just so it makes it a little bit more obvious. Um, so let's just go to our background colour and we'll change that to uh, yellow. Just so it's a bit more obvious for you. Okay, so as you can see we've got transparent header. And what you'll also notice is the header shrinks down slightly which is a quite a nice effect, then it disappears and like I said as soon as you scroll back up it pops up with a white background so obviously it stands out from wherever you are and then goes back to its default transparent state and you'll notice now that we've kind of styled out our drop downs and I'll show you where that is and how to do that and then a nice little added section on our about uh, tab so yeah let's take a look so to get all this stuff working first of all what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear all of this out so that you can see what it looks like default so this is default um, okay just going to refresh this page okay so it's not sticky it's just staying at the top of the page uh, and that's it we've got a slight box shadow at the bottom but that is that is it so what we want to do is we go to our header builder so if you get the structure panel out go to the header builder what we want to first do is go to sticky and then enable that so that then makes the menu sticky however I mean you can keep it at sticky if you want but if you don't want to do that what you can then do is go to scroll behavior and then you can say after about 200 pixels and it will show you where that is when a user scrolls the menu disappears okay and then if you notice when I'm scrolling back up it doesn't show again until we get to the top but if we put reveal on scroll up that means wherever you are on the page and even if you're right at the bottom the user can start to scroll up at, usually because they want to go and find the menu and the menu will pop up there for them. So it's a really good UX um, in that sense. So that's that part of it. And then, so then what we need to do is get the the kind of transparency. So we go down to overlay next, enable that, and what you'll see straight away is that it's gone transparent. Okay. Um, so if we save that now, um, and we go back to our page, we'll refresh that, it will just be yellow um, because it's transparent. And then when we scroll up, as you see, we can then have the menu pop up. But at the moment it's just transparent, so when anywhere in the page, if we scroll up, you can see um, other elements are underneath it and it's not very good. So to change that, uh, we need to go to the scroll, uh, the style, and then background and we're just going to set it to white okay that's under the sticky section so you go to sticky style and change it to white so now if we save that okay and we refresh what you'll notice is that it changes white so you've as you scroll down for the first 200 it will change white 200 pixels that is and then as you scroll up it will pop back up again for users to use um, so it's a really nice feature and again you can go to, st if you want to kind of add, add some other styling, you can go to styles under sticky, go to borders, and then we can add a shadow. Um, and so we've already got a box shadow colour in our globals. And then we're going to go for something like, 
uh, it's not going to be huge. So maybe like 8, 7, 16, something like that. Let's give that a try. So again, we'll refresh this page. Did we refresh? Yeah, we did. Um, so we'll scroll down. And as we scroll up, you probably can't see it very well. Um, so let's just adjust that. Uh. Huh. Maybe it's our colour that we chose. The reason you can't see it very well. So let's just okay. Let's just make our sh uh, box shadow really obvious, and then we'll be able to see what's going on. So it doesn't seem to be applying, which is interesting. Will it apply on scroll? There you go. So it's on scroll, isn't it? So we need to remember that when we're checking for. Uh, those things. So let's get rid of that one. Um, so our spread we want to be about 10 maybe. And we need to be about 8. And then, so if we then choose our shadow colour, which is very, very light, so it's very subtle and update. Probably a bit too light for us to notice I think and that's where the problem lies I suspect. Yeah. So we'll just change our colour to be a bit more prominent and hopefully because obviously at the moment our background's yellow, so it doesn't matter. But if we're on, there we go. So you can now see there's a slight box shadow. If we're on on kind of lighter areas on the site, so for example this area here, you can see there's a slight box shadow. So it just helps it to stand out slightly. All right. So that's how you kind of use the more advanced options of um, the Breakdance Builders header designer. Um, like I say, it's it's really great and here we've got kind of it's a bit like a mega menu styling but it's not really um, in this section at least you can have full blown mega menu styling and you can have drop downs where you can put literally anything in if you want to um, we've kept ours quite clean just a you know a title and a little description under our services our about tab so we've got a few links but then we've also got this added little section at the bottom with a different colour, so I'll show you that as well. Uh, so if we go, just close all these up. So for our About tab, I'll show you how that's created. So firstly, you've got your first column, which is this white background column. And if we click on that, you'll see we've got our About, Green Credentials, uh, FAQs, Reviews, and Client Stories. Then this nice little added section at the bottom is because we've turned on show another section. So you can alternatively add another column um, and give that a title over here and then start adding links under that if you want to. But we wanted to keep this one one column but have something underneath. So if I turn that off, you'll see it just disappears and there's no column, uh, no added section. So we've added that section and then added a single column where we then have our video tutorials and our newsletter and it just as design wise it just looks really nice so again that's how you can achieve that and looking at this menu item again you just open up your columns and you'll see you've got an area for your title and your description and again we could put icons to all of these if we wanted to um, just by using the icon item here or you can also add an image it's entirely up to you. So that's how we've built our header menu and just some of the advanced features of that. So yeah thanks for watching hope that helps please if this did help like like the video subscribe and share all that fancy stuff and um, I will see you in the next one thanks very much.
Thank you.